Welcome everyone, in this video we will solve a physics olympiad question about kinematics from a Turkish physics olympiad. I will attach the original paper to the descriptions part so that you can have a look at it. Also in this video I will be using many formulas without proving them because I have proven them in previous videos and to prove them again would take so much time in this video so you can just access the proofs of many of the formulas used in this video from the cards and also from the descriptions part enough said let's get started we will have a surface like this and we will be uh, we will be shooting a projectile with velocity v naught and an angle with the horizontal theta by the question, we are told that the during this motion, the ratio of the, let's see, of the maximum kinetic energy to the maximum potential energy is 4 over 3. So we have this uh, told to us by the question. We are also given that the range of this projectile, so the distance where it hits the ground is L. We are told this and now you might be asking what is the question we want to know if we were to stand on the same spot and this time throw a projectile with a velocity double of the initial and with an initial angle double if it will of course travel through a distance perhaps it will hit the ground at this point which i call l1 this is one uh, this is uh, part one. Now part two, there is another one. And that is we want to um, we want to throw another projectile, launch another projectile. This time with the half of the velocity, V0 over 2, and also half the angle, theta over 2. And it will hit at it at like uh, L2, let's say. Okay. And so we are asked by the question... Uh, what is L1 minus L2? Uh, let's put an absolute value because we don't know which one is greater. You might have a guess, but let's say that we don't know which one is greater. And we just want to uh, figure out the distance between the points that the two projectiles hit. So when they hit the ground, how far apart will they be? We want this answer in terms of L. Of course, we can't give a numerical value we are not provided numbers we want to express this difference in terms of l so how do we start well first of all i want to focus focus on this part what is the maximum kinetic energy so k max let's write it here even k max over u max k max will be 1 over 2 m and it will ha happen at the initial height because that's the point where the uh, where the speed is the greatest so we write v naught squared divided by for the u max it will happen at the highest point so it is mg h max now we already see that the mass cancels that's not that surprising i guess but what about h max what is it well this is what i was talking about at the beginning in a video I proved that, in a previous video I have proven that uh, Hmax is, and let's write it with green, Hmax is, as I proved, v naught squared sine squared theta over 2g. So I will just uh, use this fact, okay? You can find the proof in the descriptions part. So we have <clears throat> v naught squared over 2g and now i'm writing h max h max is v naught squared sine squared theta divided by 2g further simplifications happen and this is told uh, this is equal to 4 over 3 given by the question so we can see that sine squared theta is equal to 3 over 4 now, we also know that sine squared plus cosine squared gives 1, which means that cosine squared theta is equal to 1 over 4. Pretty cool, I hope. Now, so far, so good. 
Now we want to um, we want to consider the ranges for all three cases cases. So uh, let's start with the first one. And do I want to keep this calculation? Well, I think we can erase it because it will take too much space. And we only need the result of it. So I am erasing this part. I hope you took note. And if you didn't, you can always rewind the video. So that's nice. Well, let me even carry them here. So we have sine squared theta equaling 3 over 4 and cosine squared theta equaling 1 over 4. Cool. Now for the ranges. L is going to be, as I proved in a previous video, which you can access from the descriptions part, it will be V naught squared sine 2 theta divided by g. Okay, and also we know that this can be written as 2 cosine theta sine theta over g. And I think we are now ready for uh, the consideration of the other ranges. So L1, it will be the initial velocity is squared, so it is 4 v naught squared, right? 2 v naught squared is equal to 4 v naught squared. Then sine of double the launch angle, so 4 theta, divided by g. And this will be similarly to the last one, similar to the last one. This will be like this. And so now we can... Hold on a second. Now, what can we do here? If we focus on this part, we can see something interesting. We can see that this, this, and this, they give us L. So we actually have 8L cosine of 2 theta. And from the double angle formulas, we know that, and I have proven this as well, Cosine of 2 theta is 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. We know this, as I have proven. So it will be, well, we have cosine squared here. So it is 2 times 1 over 4, which is 1 over 2 minus 1. It is negative 1 over 2, which we can substitute here to get negative 4L. Hold on a second. We must have made a mistake, right? I mean, a distance can't be negative. So we must have made a mistake. But actually, no, we haven't made a mistake because this negative only means that the uh, the displacement is not to the right as we have expected. It is to the left. And is that is that possible? Yes, it is possible because notice we had theta like this. And I was careless with my drawing when I assumed that two theta would be an acute angle. It is not necessarily going to be less than 90 degrees. And it, in fact, it won't be less than 90 degrees. You can find the value of theta by using this and plugging it into your computer to a, to a calculator. Or, and you will see that 2 theta is, in fact, an obtuse angle. It is greater than 90 degrees. So the projectile will be traveling to the left, which is why we get a displacement that is negative. I hope this makes sense. Now for the uh, for the last case L2 we will have the initial velocity squared so it is v naught squared divided by 4 I have the g as well and sine of the uh, sine of theta over 2 times 2 so sine of theta. And now for this part I want to focus on this this and this. When I look at when I look at this equation, and let's even write it explicitly, v naught squared sine theta over g is equal to. Um, let's see what is it equal to l over two cosine of theta, of uh, I believe. Let me, me be sure. Yes, it is equal to that, and so I can make that substitution. It becomes l over. We have the 4, remember, so 8 cosine of theta. And I know what cosine of theta is going to be. It will be, we have cosine squared equaling 1 over 4. And we chose theta to be an, uh, an acute angle. And obviously it can't be, well, there are like, you could say plus or minus. But initially we chose theta to be acute. 
we can be sure of that. And so we will basically use the positive root. It will be a times one over two, not negative one over two. And I mean, if you were to use it as negative one over two, I guess, well, I guess you could still manage it if you were to stay consistent in the previous calculations as well. But let's stick to our decision. We will have L over four. And so the distance between them will be since they have since they have opposite signs, we will add their magnitudes. So four L plus L over four that is seventeen over four L, which is the answer to our question. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please add them in the comment section. If you want to see other videos like this, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.